Put on a shirt, man. Your nipples are so hard they can cut diamonds. Jeez. Greetings and salutations, viewers. This is I, Cybertron X, coming to you with a new figure review. I'm doing it on the DC Universe Masters of the Universe Classics two-pack of Superman versus He-Man, which is an interesting storyline. There was a, a crossover comic that actually comes with the figures, and it is uh, it's a, this one right here. Superman gets teleported to Eternia. Skeletor takes him over to fight He-Man. You know, because Superman is weak against magic. Now, this two-pack was on sale at Toys R Us, and I had to finally pick it up. And I also bought the Skeletor vs. Lex Luthor. So, what makes these special? Well, first of all, let's go first to He-Man. Now, He-Man is from the Masters of the Universe collection of classic figures. So, why is this a good purchase? Well, if for those who weren't able to buy them on Maddie Collector and stuff like that, or getting through the second-hand market on eBay and that, this is a great way to get a Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man. Granted, he does not come with a power sword. He does come with his axe and shield. But, you know, sometimes if you want the figure, you have to make a few sacrifices. Let's take off the shield. Now, I I don't know what it is, but I do have some stress marks in his shield. So I might not keep it on him that much. And take away his axe. And let's look at the details on the axe and the shield first. What I do like about this axe is how they painted in the blade itself a different silver. To give it more of a depth. Um, it is that really soft plastic that you have to be careful. Mine's warped, so I gotta straighten it out. The shield, also, the two silver and gray paints with the ribbiting, a black, really does look nice. I like that. Now onto the figure itself. I do love the way this figure looks. I mean, the paint application on his loincloth, his boots, how they painted the just the slice different colors between the the leather, the boots to the strap, and this wash over the band here. I really do like it. I love the classic He-Man chest piece and the the tarnished look and that to his bracelets and how his hair has a dirty blonde wash to it. Just a little bit. So, yeah. I do like that. Articulation head can turn a full 360. Move up and down. Up and down at the elbow or at the shoulder. Full 360. 360 at the bicep. Pivot at the elbow and rotate 360 at the wrist. Does have the the ab crunch rotates at the waist, but does have that weird look to it. Legs can go in and out because they are on a ball joint hinge type thing. Rotate, but not too much. Don't want them to pop off. Bend at the knee and at the foot and has a slight heel swivel. I really do like this figure. I mean, molded even a belly button. That is, that's pretty funny. Alright. Let's go on to the He-Man figure. Or to the Superman figure. This is actually the first Superman of the DC Universe figures that I own. I've been wanting a Superman figure. I saw the Brainiac vs. Skeletor pack. I didn't like it that he, he had his eyes painted into the heat vision blast mode. Just didn't like that. 
Um, I will say I love the blue paint on the costume as well as the nice molded, the painted Superman emblem. This is how Superman should look, even with the Superman logo on the cape. Really nice. Uh, articulation is the same. 360 at the head. Now, here it is hindered due to his cape. His 360 there. 360 at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and rotate at the waist or wrist. Add crunch on mine. Can cause He-Man to fall over. He-Man's been drinking that and turning and winding him. That crunch on mine is a little tight, so you can get the poses, rotates at the waist, the classic DC hip part, rotates above the knee, bends at the knee, bends at the heel, and no heel pivot. Superman has no accessories because he is Superman and does not need any. He can punch you out just by thinking about it. No, <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, but I do like these, this two-pack. Why? Because you get two figures that want to fall over because they've been drinking again. You get two classic, iconic figures. Superman and He-Man. Why do I also say buy it? Because those who cannot get the He-Man figure, the classic Masters of the Universe He-Man figure, through secondary market without spending a lot, it's a great deal. Because right now at Toys R Us, little plug, they're $19.99 until the 26th of this month. So go get one. If you want one, go get it. They're nice. They're awesome. They're cool. Detail. Phenomenal. I just love both of these figures. Yes, I'm getting into collecting the DC Universe figures. And you never know, I might buy some Masters of the Universe stuff. I don't know. They're just so pretty. So, yes on getting these. They are a good deal. An excellent deal. Two figures, $19.99 to $26. Do it. For they are full Eternia Bacon. That is all. <laughs>